Tomorrow at the same time, you will all be there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and thank you so much for attending this last supper. As you know, rumors are going around that the world should end tomorrow. And we are here to explore whether this should be really indeed the case. What has started spreading such rumor? Well, in fact, it's a combination of many different things that came all together to create that paranoia running around. It all starts, as, as you know, with the Mayan calendar. <laughs> the Mayan calendar says that indeed the calendar is going to end tomorrow. And from there people decided to do, do the conclusion that since the calendar was ending tomorrow, the world was going to end as well. Well, in fact, the Mayans were very keen astronomers and had developed a very deep understanding of the movement of the, of the, of the uh, astral bodies in the sky. In fact, they were using not one, but three calendars. The first one, called Solkin, was a calendar of 260 yeah, days. And this one was a sacred calendar to plan and organize the religious ceremonies. The second one, called Ahab, was a calendar of 365 days, basically our Gregorian calendar, giving a year and its seasonal cycle. This was the secular calendar that was re regulating the life of ordinary people. The one calendar that has created all the trauma is the long count calendar. A calendar with, whose date is written this way, and it's a calendar of roughly, uh -huh, let me remember, 200. Oh shit, I forgot my date. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was going to end anyway. Yeah, 144,000 days. Yeah. Okay? So the date in the long count calendar is written as such. As first, you have one digit here to the extreme right, which is one day. Then the second digit, the Reno, is 20 days. <laughs> Then the third digit, the ton, is 360 days, which is roughly equivalent to a year. Then we come to the cotton, which is 7,200 days. And then finally, we come to the back tun, which is in turn 144. 144,000 days, which is roughly 400 years. Now, in the belief of the Mayan, 13 Bakhtun are making a full cycle. Hence, this calendar, which is coming, which is the date which is going to be tomorrow, tomorrow, according to that calendar, the date will be 13 0 0 0 0. 
and the date on the 22nd December, because the Maya never predicted that the world would end on that day, the date according to their calendar will be 13001. Because we are starting a whole full new cycle of 400 years. With that cycle of 400 years, we are coming to a slightly different perception of time. And this is what about that trauma is all about. Now, to talk about the perception of time, I'm going to go into some sort of amusing science kind of experiment. I'm going to have three spheres. Now, the educator in me is, of course, going to ask you to identify those spheres. I'm not just going to tell you what they are. Your Uranus. You have one big, bright orange. Jupiter. Which is the? Sun. Yeah. yeah. And then we have one apple, which is? A fruit. Uh, moon. Which is the earth. Now what am I gonna do with the earth? Oh no. Skew it. Oh, no. I'm oh. gonna screw it. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That's painful. <laughs> because the earth, oh no, it's, it's because a, the it's a, earth needs oh, no, 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 no. I need to go straight because I don't like screwing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean, bro. Uh, it's like, Ayo. Ayo. Okay. Ayo. <laughs> okay? All right. All right. So I need something to hold. Can you give me a glass to hold the, the empty head? The... Oh, no. no. Oh, very heavy. Lah. And this is going to be the moon. The moon. So, the human perception of time is in fact entirely defined by the movement of those astro bodies. So, the first perception of the cycle of time is rotation. What is it? <laughs> the first cycle of the sun the cycle which the first cycle which we are aware of the day the, the, rotation. Day, the rotation of the earth on its own axis receiving the light of the sun which gives us the day then the second level is the orbit the month the movement of the moon around the earth which gives us the top. The third, the third level is the year with the planet rotating around the sun. Now what happened, the reason why we are in the midst of all that trauma about the end of the work, I mean blah blah blah, is because somehow this Mayan calendar with the end of the world coming, blah 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 blah, blah, blah superimposed with another astronomy phenomenon, which is the astrological great year, which is actually the next level of the perception of time. But that cycle of time is a cycle of 21. Uh, 25,786 years. Far too long for, ev for us to even begin to perceive the dimension of that cycle. So we have the day, the month, the year, and the next level goes right away onto the galactic level with 26, 25,786 years. Now, where is that great year coming from? Ah. Whoa! <laughs> well, the great year is coming from a very simple astronomic phenomenon, which is that the planet, if 
planet Earth was rotating, if the axis of rotation of the planet around the sun was vertical, we would always look at the same fixed point in the sky. But, as you know, the axis of rotation is not vertical. It is slightly slanting. Which means that the fixed point that we see for us on planet Earth fixed in the sky is actually rotating. It's that cycle, it's that circle which the axis of the planet is describing, which is 25,786 years, which is the great year, which is the cycle of time to the galactic level. Now, with this movement happening, what's happening is that in fact, the fixed point in the sky, which at the moment is the North Pole Star, is actually evolving, moving in a slow motion, which is changing the age every 2,150 years. This is leading us to the world of the astro, the zodiac, okay? Because on the axis on the on the tropical axis of the, of the of the planet you have the zodiacal houses okay you, ha you have all the 12 zodiacal houses because the axis is turning turning like this the, ax the, the zodiacal houses are turning as well with the fixed point in the sky, which leads us to the second phenomenon, which is the, the precession of the equinox. Because the zodiacal houses are turning, the equinox, the spring equinox sun, is rising in a different house every 2,150 years. And we are right now basically at the shift between Pisces and Aquarius. It's the superimposition of that Mayan calendar ending on the 21st December 2012 and that shift of zodiacal houses that defines the age of civilization that has created the whole Buddha. Is this really truly happening on the 21st December 2012? Nobody knows because in fact there are in fact two different when the zodiacal houses were defined which is basically at roughly at the time, at the beginning of the BC era, uh, of, of the AD uh, BBC uh, era, that was a time when the zodiacal houses were superimposing with the position of the constellation of the sky. But since then they have shifted. So in fact you have two different zodiacal systems. So depending on which zodiacal system you consult, the shift to the age of Aquarius might have taken place already some years back or will take place in a few years time as well. We are basically in a phase of transition. It also all depends if you look at here. You see here, here you have Pisces and here you have Aquarius. The the zodiacal sky has been arbitrarily segmented in segments of 30 degrees to roughly accommodate the, gal the, the galactic sign. Okay? But the constellations are not following exactly those houses. We are somewhere at the moment, somewhere here, in between Fishers and Aquarius.
yeah. but obviously something is happening. I therefore wish you a happy solstice of winter solstice of 2012 and wish you a happy end of the world for tomorrow. Thank you. What do you think of the lecture? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Very good. I recommend. Very good. Very good. More than good. I'm sold on it. You are sold. Well done. By the way, I'm a Pisces. What is Pisces? <laughs> what do you think which, of the book? No, no. It's not, uh, which lecture? calendar? It's the thing I was intrigued. If you want, it's like uh, when educational. Uh, educational. <laughs> when? What do you the, think of the lecture? I'm still, still thinking about it. When, do, still, when uh, they define that thing about so I get a lot of Very difficult. The Zodiacal House of the Fantastic. Roughly at the beginning of the BBC. What, what do you think of the lecture, Mr. Zidi Harris? That was the time when the two things were so very from the, the, the constellation in the sky. <laughs>